Welcome to Flutter Split Screen Responsive Design for Phone, Tablet, Desktop, and Web. I'm Mark Anopoli. I'm an active Flutter developer. Let's get an overview of our tasks and goals. First, we're going to create a responsive application supporting a split screen list detail layout from a single code base supporting our multi platform phone tablet, desktop, and web. The split screen lists detail on the same screen depending on the device and navigation from list to detail page on phones. Desktop and web, although requires to handle both mobile, desktop, and web responsive layouts when the user changes the size of the app screen. And guess what? We're not going to use any third-party plugins or packages. Let's get an overview of the applications demo. Now you're going to start by analyzing the application's common features, the reusable logic and widgets. You're going to implement dark and light mode, global state management, and responsive layout builder widget. The phone application navigates from the list page to the detail page. On tablet, desktop, and web applications, you'll create a split screen layout showing the list and detail pages on the same screen. This is the phone navigation and portrait mode from list to detail with some hero animation. You can see how smooth it is. If you go landscape, you can see the screen, the detail screen also adapts and you get a split screen now. And the same with the photos, you adapt from portrait to landscape and also the dashboard. Let's take a look at the iPad. You have your split screen layout. And when you go landscape, it knows that you can also put a navigation bar, the navigation rail on the left side. And as you can see the photos, the grid goes from three to two. Let's take a look at the Mac OS. You have your split screen with the rail, but the photos, you can see it adapts to the correct size. And if you resize, it knows the navigation rail goes away. You have the bottom navigation bar. Now it goes into like a mobile navigation. There's your hero animation from list to detail. And as you resize back, it goes to back to split screen and the navigation rail. Let's take a look at the web. It should work the same way. Here we go. It knows the layout. It knows how many grid to show. And if you resizes, it's reciting the grid view according to the size available. Very adaptive and responsive. Again, now it's doing the mobile animation. And as you resize, it goes back to split screen. Bottom navigation now becomes navigation rail. How about on a Pixel 7 Android? Here's our navigation with the hero animation widget and navigation transition. Landscape, it goes to split screen. And the detail screens know to adapt according to the size that it has. So do the photos. We'll go back to portrait, as you can see, it knows to adapt correctly. Dashboard. Let's take a look at the fold-out eight. It knows that you have enough screen size to do split screen, right? When we went to navigation, we went to landscape mode now. It knows how to show the different adaptivity to the grid view there, the photos. And back to the users, it knows that it has enough room. Now, what happens with Fold? Now it becomes a mobile device like a regular phone, and it knows how to navigate accordingly. Excellent. How about running in Microsoft Windows application? Same thing, split screen with the navigation rail. You got your photos, your dashboard, and if we resize, it knows navigation rail, now it goes to bottom navigation bar and not to a mobile layout. And navigates as if it was a mobile environment. And adapts, of course, the photos, the grid view, and the dashboard. It knows how to resize itself and adapt according to the available size and orientation. Excellent. Next, we're going to take a look at the base structure of the application. So we're going to be opening and reviewing the starter project. 
Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Mark Onopoli and I'm an active Flutter developer. I developed my first native iPhone app back in 2008. First time I heard about Flutter was back in 2017, Google I.O. My focus is mobile app development, especially iOS, Android, web, and desktop, taking full ownership of developing apps from conception to alpha, beta, minimal viable product, which, of course, the MVP, release and maintenance updates. My focus is creating visually elegant and simple to use systems that work seamlessly across different platforms. I developed mortgage banking processing and marketing software. Later on, my company was acquired by leading banking software company. After, I developed software for a client that sold hospitality software. Some of their customers included Top Hotel franchises and many more. Today, I'm focused on developing mobile, web, and desktop apps. I also enjoy teaching others about software development. I was one of the first developers interviewed by Hilal Karan from the It's All Widgets Flutter podcast on November 27, 2018. Now, I love Flutter so much that I wrote a book called Beginning Flutter, A Hands-On Guide to App Development. By the way, I am a big fan of caffeine and I cannot code without my espresso, cappuccino, and coffee. And yep, I also love my martial arts.